Hello everyone, my name is Ada Lovelace and I'm known for publishing the first ever computer programme 200 years ago. I'm about to draw my life, although technically someone else is doing the drawing. This is what I look like, very similar to Princess Leia. But this was over a hundred years before A New Hope and way before The Force Awakens, so she obviously copied me. Hmm? I was born in London on the 10th of December in 1815. My dad was the famous poet Lord Byron. You will find he was quite the Lord of Scandals. Ah. Quite embarrassing, really. Anyway, my parents separated soon after I was born and sadly I never got to know him. My mother wasn't much good at all the parent stuff either, so I was mainly brought up by my gran and some nannies. <laughs> Not those kind of nannies. I was pretty ill when I was young. I spent a whole year in bed because of the measles. A whole year. To pass the time, I studied new inventions and even dreamt up my own, designing boats and steam-powered flying machines. Maybe I was expressing my desire to escape the bed. Even though I wasn't that close to my mum, she still wanted me to have a good education. Worried that I might turn out like my notorious dad, she steered me away from poetry and towards mathematics, which I loved. One of my tutors said my maths problems were beyond the strength of a woman's physical power of application. 200 years later, does he have a day named after him? At 19, I married a man called William King and we had three children. He became the Earl of Lovelace, which is how I came to be known as Ada Lovelace. Around the same time as I got married, one of my tutors introduced me to a man called Charles Babbage. No, Babbage, not cabbage. Meeting Babbage changed my life. He was a mathematician and inventor. Together we started working on an invention called the analytical engine. Very funny. The analytical engine would have been much bigger than that. No, much bigger. And has since become recognized as the world's first computer. I was fascinated by the plans for the machine and studied it for days on end it was designed to perform any calculation you gave it, and just like computers nowadays, had a memory, storage, and even a printer. I knew the computer had incredible potential, so made some notes predicting it would be able to manipulate symbols rather than just numbers. I wrote instructions that would get the computer to calculate a set of numbers called Bernoulli numbers. People often call these instructions the first algorithm, rules or processes to be followed by the first computer. And that's why lots of people say I was the first computer programmer. Sadly, I became ill and passed away at just 36 years old. I requested to be buried next to my father and there I remain in Hucknall, Nottinghamshire. Thankfully, my legacy lives on. Hello. A lot has changed in the last 200 years. My life was short and you might say tragic, but what I achieved would inspire scientists for generations to come. Things have got a bit better for women since, but it's still harder to get noticed in the sciences than it is for the likes of Babbage. Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers, which kind of makes me the mother of computers. Not that there was any funny business between us, you understand. I foresaw that the computer, given the right set of instructions, would be able to create graphics, music, and, you know, gifs about Ryan Gosling eating his cereal. Hey, dude! No one believed me at the time, but 200 years later, I turned out to be right. So, you wouldn't have had Minecraft, social media, or even PewDiePie without me. In your Facebook, Zuckerberg. I didn't let the culture of my era slow me down, and you shouldn't either. Who knows, you might do something that changes the world if you really try hard and make clever choices. And in 2215, you might have a day named after you too. Subscribe to Your Life for more videos to inspire you and help unlock your potential in our world of maths and physics.